So recently I hit 500 subscribers, so I would like to say thank you very much to all of you. I would not have gotten this far if it wasn't for you guys, but you know, I make these, I just make the videos and I just hope I'm entertaining a lot of you. <laughs> so um, what better way to show how I actually entertain you by showing you how I edit my videos. Um, this is a software on the PS4 that comes with it called Share Factory. Download it for free, and it's just the easiest thing to use. It's like any software maker, but just simplified in a very simple manner. So I'm going to show you how to edit videos and add music and add photos, transitions, and everything like that. On Share Factory, you can also make gifs, photos, like memes and all, and you can also make uh, you can also import videos, images, and music via USB. You can also buy themes, but you know, why would you want to buy to be able to edit? But you know, uh, so my projects actually no, I should not show you this. I can't because I kind of deleted it anyway. Uh, exit without saving. Here we go. Uh, my gallery. These are all the videos I have on my PlayStation at the moment that have been uploaded. Actually, not this one. Uh, yeah, they all have been uploaded though. And, oh, actually wait, these are all the ones I've created and saved onto my PlayStation, so I shall show you how to make one. So, I recently won another game of Fortnite, so I'll show you how to edit a video. And I shall upload that Fortnite video from this video. So, for example, um, we have themes, and these themes can, you know, give you music, backgrounds, screenshots, some forms of text as well. You can get different kinds of fonts of text as well. So just for an example, I'm gonna be using the the Black Ops 3 theme. And there's also these wee transitions, you know, intros and everything. You know, if you were gonna do a Black Ops 3 video, you could like put a Black Ops 3 intro over it. So I'll show you what it looks like. So then what you could do after that is you could actually put a put the actual video on. So if it would if it would actually load. There we go. So there's our clip there. And there's also a title screen as well that you can put in, but I never use these because they're weird looking. I don't like them. Uh, I, by the way, though, I rarely ever use stuff like this, but, you know, I just jump straight into the video because that's what you really want to see. So, if you select this and select your video that you want to edit, it, it clips straight into the video. Also, um, before, I, before I forget to mention, this is the, the main menu area of the editing software. The blue bar at the bottom, as you can see, is the video itself. And you scroll by using the right stick and... You don't do anything with the left stick. Well, you select things with the left stick in here, but I use the directional pad because it's more easier. So if you were to hit, if you were to hit X, it brings up all this stuff that you can add to your clips. So you can add another clip that you forgot to put in at the start. You can add screenshots. You can add a track. By this, it means you can add a commentary or a video feed. So you can if you have the PlayStation camera. It's quite cool. Um, that, that was the old way I used to do my music before they added it so that you could put music via USB. <laughs> uh. Alright, so you can add music. Uh, the PlayStation gives you free music that you can use on your videos, but I have lots of stuff that I've imported over. You know, like all these wee sound effects and everything. You know, I have like... Hold on. Yeah, I just have a load of these, just in case if I ever need to use them. I've also got wee bits of music. And I... Uh, oh, actually, wait. There's wee icons beside the music symbol. I think that's a quaver, it's called. A double quaver. I, I forget, I haven't done music in a long time. The thing is, is that they have different symbols beside them. The smiley face shows that um, it's yours. It's your clip. And what looks to be like a screen with the wave in it. 
is the theme music. You know, that we chose the Black Ops 3 theme, so we get the Black Ops 3 music from that game. Like, I could, like, I could play the Juggernaut theme. Well, that's the, call it, bloody Shadows of Evil one, which I hate. Where's the, where's the old one? <laughs> and these are the PlayStation ones, they don't have anything, they're quite boring and repetitive to listen to. Right, so I shall show you how to edit the actual clip instead of adding stuff into it. So, what you could do is that you can render the time, so you could slow down your clip, speed it up. Uh, the thing I don't like about it is that, see when you, if you were to slow down your clip, and if you do that uh, and put it to smooth, it puts a filter on it, which I don't like, but I think it needs to have a filter or else the thing doesn't work. And when it does, it makes the image look all distorted and everything. I don't like that. And the step is like, it kind of jumps a little bit. You can see, it's kind of jumpy. But it's better to have it you know, smooth, but I don't like that filter they've put in. Uh, you can also split clips. So, you know, you could split a clip. Now they're two separate clips. And then it leads into another one. So what you can do with these clips is that you can add text and everything, and where the clip actually ends is that's when that's when the, the text will disappear. Also the screenshots as well. Um, actually, I'll show you how to do that now. So, um... Put a add overlay. So this is all of the ignore that. Um, this is all these wee stickers that you can use in the the quite cringy. I, I don't like any of them. I'd never use any of them. The only ones I use are these ones. Cause they're funny looking. And theme stickers. These are the ones from the Black Ops Three thing. And you've got all the prestige emblems and everything, which look quite sick. I like that one. That's the prestige master on one, I think. And I don't know. I haven't played it in a while. Uh, imported images, that's the ones from your USB, but I don't have any because I don't use any. Text, uh, this is all the text that you can use. Um, there's meme, there's a meme text, uh, there's just random text, different fonts, different sizes. Well, uh, I could just type whatever I want then. So, the person, just put that there you can move it around you know if you want position it somewhere else on the screen uh you can also change the opacity of the text i just like to keep it 100 percent uh color oh there's a lot of stuff you can choose here i never change the color i always keep it white all right change it black sometimes depending on what yeah you have to like color it in a certain way so you're actually still able to see the text from the background so if you were to have like a black background but also the text was also black, you wouldn't be able to see it. Text effects? This is new? Oh. Well, this is like word art and... <laughs> nah, I don't really like any of these. Let's keep it white. Align. Oh, okay. That's quite good. I'm, there. I'm learning stuff I haven't even noticed. Layer order. So that's the layers, so you can have multiple pieces of text on the same clip but you have to layer them so one appears in front of the other sort of thing you know what i mean uh what else is there delete text edit text so that's like changing the text uh i'm just gonna leave the text okay all right so wherever you place the text in on the clip that's when it will appear so i put it there so it only appears right there so if you wanted to go, go through the entire video you'd have to put it right there the very beginning of your, your clip and then put the text on and then it won't disappear until you hit the, the split. So see as soon as it hits the split, it disappears. Uh, what else is there? Trim clip, you can, you know, trim it and do all that with it. It's self-explanatory. Uh, move clip, that's if you want to move the order of your clip, so I could move this intro over, so 
it's now the clip after this one and before this one. So you know, it's it's handy. Because you need to you, you used to never be able to do that, so you had to put in like new clips and everything. You had to like manipulate it so it would work properly. It's really stupid. You delete clips, you can clone clips if you accidentally delete one. That's very handy, that's saved my life so many times. You can pan and zoom, so you can select. <laughs> so you can select the thing you want to zoom in on, on the frame. And you zoom in on it. And also you can position where the camera will be. Uh, come on. My cool. Zoom out. There we go. Okay. And. Oh, yeah. Filters. Forgot, forgot to show you them. Uh, there's a lot of filters you can choose from. Just make sure they're not too photos. Shush. Um, photo filters. There's game filters. Uh, retro filters. And there's psychedelic filters. It, it's just like a drug trip, pretty much. There's like LSD, and there's like meth, and there's cocaine. But there's just all these wee normal ones as well. Like if you want to turn it like black and white if something sad happens in the video and you put RIP up in the up in the video and all. You can add a layout. Okay, I never knew this existed. So if I were to pick this, I'm yeah, it splits the clip up. That's actually quite cool. I don't really like it though. Because it looks all messy. You don't know what's going on. Uh Hold on, add layout, put it back to normal, kind of. Default layout. Can, can I not change it back? Oh, edit layout. There we go, delete layout. Right, look at the transitions. Um, So, I don't use these ones because they're quite cringy, to be honest. Like, look at this. And there's... All these ones, they're just cringy if you're not playing the right game. Uh, I just use the dissolves, they're quite good. There's blur fade, and there's... What? Saturate fade? Burn fade? Fade through colour? Ah, uh, but the cross fade's my favourite, because it just, it's just straight to the point, you know? Then there's wipes. Where, like, the Microsoft PowerPoint sort of ones but you know I don't really use I don't really use any of these I just use the dissolves because they're easier and more reliable so right I'm gonna add music show you what you can do with it no 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 perfect right uh so what you can do here is you can pretty much do the same thing as you can with normal clips, but instead you can just, you know, move and orientate all of them. So it's easier. Uh, hold on. I don't want to delete the clip, right? Move. Okay. Moving it. Hold on. I think I just went past a little bit on the video, which could be quite good. I kind of cheated this a little bit with the rocket launcher in Fortnite. So, you can get the right frame. There we go. So if I were to just play this. Kaboom. It actually goes quite well. <laughs> Kaboom. So, um, you can increase the volume and all that stuff, but you can also fade, fade in the music while the sound effects. And you can fade them out as well, so that's quite handy whenever you need it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of had a brain fart at this point. I don't know how I didn't die from this though. It was just luck, really. Um, to be honest, that's really all I have to show you. And. I'm going to make this clip, or this video, and then I will be right back. Dab. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 
And there we go. That's the finished video. All them clips. Whoa. Let's see how many clips there was. Uh, 26th, that's all. There's only 20, there's 26 clips here, but there's uh, the maximum amount of music I can put in, and I don't like the fact you can't put in a certain amount of music. I wish you could put in as much music as you like, but you know, that's quite stupid. So, um, again, thank you very much for 500 subscribers. Couldn't have done it without you, obviously. And um, I will upload this video as soon as I upload. Um, this video that I'm editing right now. So, thank you very much. See ya.